Okay, so um, we come through here, and we. Oh my goodness, that scared the bejeebus out of me. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are starting uh, the Dry Run Expedition. Um, this is a fun mission. I really like this mission, and um, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, I'm going to spend a little bit more time gearing up for this. Um, it actually doesn't take too terribly long, but um, there are some dangerous spots to it. Between satellites falling out of the sky, exotics growing with imaging, and their last exploration team just not coming back. The desert's a blank on the map. It's time to change all that. But first, you gotta find a way in. Exploration teams reported a cave system. Could be a path down there. But that was the last anyone heard from. Hmm. Legos has dropped components for a heavy drilling rig. Could be useful underground, but you'll need to collect them before you head down. Drop zones in the cave area are marked on your map. It ain't your first rodeo, but this is Icarus. So, don't let your guard down. Okay, so basically what we have to do is... Uh, go pick up a drill from here, uh, go pick up a solar panel and a wiring tool from here, and then it's going to send us um, somewhere up in this area to do the mission. Um, so I will meet you guys at the, the first location. All right, so we are in the center pretty much of this circle, but uh, that's a really large circle to find the crate we're looking for. If I remember correctly, when we did this on the multiplayer, the crate was kind of in the forest. Oh, something just updated. That means we're close to it, uh, but I still don't see it. <laughs> um, okay, so let's just kind of look around. Oh, there it is. I see it. I don't know if it's always in this same exact spot, but it's right up in the upper left corner of M11, it looks like. And this is the drill. Lagos unit figures the cave system's the key to getting through to the desert. But tidal forces from Minos mean subterranean networks are anything but stable. They figured you'll need drilling equipment. Okay, so we got the drilling equipment. Now what we have to do is go up into this area to get a solar panel and a wiring tool in order to power the drill. Um, yeah, so let's just keep moving through here. Okay, we are close to it. Um, I'm just making the rest of the cloth armor here. All right, so what do we have so far? Uh, we just need the feet. There it is. So again, assuming this is always in the same place, and I think it usually is, um, this is right, well, pretty much smack dab in the center. Oh, I guess they both were pretty close to the center. I don't know why, Why? what's the point in having such a ginormous circle then? I don't know if they're always in the center. <laughs> that seems a little odd to me, but whatever. Okay, so we got the solar panel um, here, and we got uh, the electricity tool, and of course we're carrying the big drill on our back. So now what we're going to have to do is work our way up north uh, to this area up here. And uh, I've been up in that area before. It's kind of a neat area. We'll, we'll get up there, and then it kind of drops down into a relatively deep basin and uh, from there you know then we can do our thing now while we're um 
I'm just trying to think of something. No, nah, okay, never mind. All right, well, I will uh, keep working my way that direction, and I'll see you guys when we get close to our destination. All right, we're getting close to our area here. Um, so we have to be careful because a bear does spawn down here. And I don't want to mess with him until we're ready to mess with him. So we're going to kind of stay along the cliff wall here. Uh, there's a buffalo, but yeah, let's leave him alone for the moment. And yeah, so it just kind of comes down into this basin. It's got a cool little lake. And then you can see the cave right over there that we're going to have to drill through. Uh, the lake does have fish in it. I guess I was told <clears throat> uh, during the multiplayer game that this lake used to not have fish in it, but they fixed it, so it does now. All right, cool. So let's head on over here. And we'll put our, our torch on. And we're going to go set up our base right here by the entrance of the cave. Um, and have the lake out on this side. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, mine up some stone so I can make... Oh, that's silica. Uh, you know, make the, uh, whatchamacallit, the fire pit, so we have a temporary weatherproof storage. And then once that's done, we'll get started mining up resources to make um, a, a wood house for now. And of course we'll, well, not of course, we might upgrade it later or we might not. We'll see how things go. Um, but anyway, I'll bring you guys back in a little bit with an update on where we are. All right, guys, I am bringing you back a little bit sooner than I normally would because we're going to go venture into the cave and see if we can get some iron. My um, MXC pick is just about broken just from using it. And I'd like to uh, get some iron and get an iron pick made up before that happens. So what we're going to do is uh, let's put, uh, where do we want to put this? We could put it right here, I guess, right by the door. Sure, why not? All right, and let's get some wood in it so it's ready to go. Okay, so let's head on into the cave here um, and find some iron. This cave has lots of ore, like there's some titanium and some copper, uh, but it also has critters and later on worms. Uh, but what we're really after right now is just to get enough iron to make an iron pick. And then we don't need to use the MXC any longer. Alright, so... We don't need copper quite yet. We will need it, but not right at the moment. There's a rabbit in there. There's a lot of animals in this cave. It's really weird. Okay. Rabbit and... One of those chamois things. I think this will probably be enough iron ore for us to make a pick. Minor wins. Not too worried about that. Okay. Let's take this back. Stick it in there and get some iron cooking up. Uh, so we can make the pick and then also the axe too. Uh, everything I've done so far has been with the stone axe. You know, I mentioned this before. The stone axe is actually not that bad. Um, made myself a little deck out here with a, a stairs to go into the water to do some fishing. And uh, there's a little, there's a pea rana right there. I nice see about those little bastards as they come to you. Sometimes you can catch the other ones too, like that. Uh, oh, did we just get nailed? Yeah, we did. So, um, yeah, we will definitely be venturing into the 
deeper into the cave, uh, but I just wasn't quite sure what was going to happen when we went in there the first time. So I guess that was a little bit anticlimactic, but that's okay. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, we've got to get we got to get 40 ingots and make the anvil before we can make the the pick. That's right. I forgot about that. So all right, well. Let's make the herbalism bench, because I want to get started on the meds for pneumonia and all that crap. Uh, we'll probably make the textiles bench just long enough to make leather armor for ourselves. Um, and it looks like we can make that still, so let's do that. Uh, we can put the herbalism bench over here, I guess, by the oxygen thingamadoodle. Alright, and then I thought I had grabbed uh, some yeast, but I guess maybe I didn't. Oh yeah, I did. It's right here. So let's grab that, that, and the charcoal. Um, and put all this over here. And then uh, we just need some epoxy for the antibiotic stuff. This torch is about ready to burn out, but I got an extra one. Okay, so we'll go here and let's make some epoxies from all the bones. We'll grab 10 of those, put those in there, and then make some of those. And we'll also, we're going to need to make the anti-poison tonic as well because we're going to have to fight, a, <coughs> excuse me, fight a lot of worms in that cave. So I have been making poison paste here. We got three of those. Let's pop those in there and then queue up some poison paste tonics. All right, good. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to go get some more iron. This MXE pick is not going to last. So unfortunately, we're going to have to use a stone pick for just a little bit, you know, because I've been using it for everything that I need it for. And it comes in super handy, but doesn't always last all the way up until you can get the iron. It just depends upon what you do with it and how much you need to use it and that sort of thing. So we'll just use the stone pick for just long enough to get the iron we need to make the iron pick. And uh, right, so that takes care of that. And uh, let's put this in here. That stuff can go back in there. And we got some raw fish, so we want to cook that in here. Okay, let's also leave the wood in here. This thing's so close to breaking, let's just destroy it now and put the new one in its place. Put the sulfur here. Okay, I don't think this windstorm's going to be enough to damage our building, so we should be fine with that. Alright, let's head back into the cave. And, um... Look for some more iron. It's rabbit, that same rabbit and goat. Okay. So we're kind of actually close to the first place we have to put the drill. What? Oh, you know what? We're, I think we're actually technically now in the desert biome. That's why that thing just popped up. Here, you know, if you're going to be stupid... Then we're going to kill you and take your giblets. Because that's just all there is to it. Alright, so let's... Um, let's start binding this up. Alright, so this just comes out the other side. Uh, how much ore did I get? Yeah, let's just grab this one too. Screw you, pneumonia. Okay, so let's go back into the base here and stick this stuff in the smelter. And this should be enough for us to make an iron pick. Um, and maybe even uh, an iron axe too, which will of course be the next thing on the list. Our MXC knife is still holding up pretty good, so we can use that for a little bit longer. Let's take one of these. Get rid of the pneumonia. Okay, 
good to go there. We'll put these extra bones in here and make some more crushed bone and then in turn make some more epoxy. Alright, so how we doing? Um, yeah, we're going to have to wait for 15 more ingots there. And then we should be able to make the anvil. Uh, we're going to need a little more stone too, so let's grab that whilst we're waiting. Okay, so while we're still waiting for this, what we're going to do is we're going to grab uh, the electricity tool. And, oh, actually, yeah, let's make our get our leather armor made, too. I'm just going to temporarily put this down for that purpose, and then we don't need this workbench for any other reason. Uh, so let's grab all the leather out of here, and you're going to probably want fiber, too, I think, right? Leather and fiber, yeah. So, grab that fiber. Hopefully that's enough. I've been turning a lot of my fiber into uh, rope just to do something with it. Uh, wait, hold on a sec. Okay, craft. 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 Okay, we just need a little more fiber to make the pantalones. Let's go... Take our bone sickle and get a little more fiber over here. I've been able to get most of my resources on this end of the lake. Um, I showed you guys earlier where I killed the bear that was being a pain in the butt, but yeah, the bears do spawn over there, so I'm trying to avoid it until we get a little bit better geared up. In fact, I can make a longbow now, too. I should do that. But I think what I'm going to do for this mission in terms of weapons. Yeah, so I'm probably just going to make the shotgun. I don't... And I might make the bolt rifle too, but I'm definitely not going to make the... the hunting rifle and get the, you know, fabricator and all that going on. I think that's going to be overkill for this mission. Okay, so let's get the final piece made here. All right, let's take everything out of here. Let's pick you up. And we can destroy this. Because we don't need it for anything else. We don't have to make fur armor or anything like that. Like we would if we were doing Arctic biome. Okay, let's pull all this out. And replace it with all of this. Okay, so we are armored up. And then all of this can be converted back into fiber. Put this in here, and we'll eat. Okay, so, um, do we got 20 ingots? Yes, we do. Let's grab those. Let's make ourselves an anvil. And then what's left over? Um, nine. Yeah, that, sh that should be enough to... Let's turn this off for now. Uh, to make the pick. But I don't think we'll have enough to make the axe. We're going to need some leather and wood, too. All right. Let's just put this guy... It doesn't matter where we put him. We'll put him right here. Okay. So let's make the iron pick. And... We're going to need some more iron and some nails to make the axe. So we'll have to wait just a little bit longer on that, which is not a problem. Okay, let's destroy this. Put that in its place. I want to repair you. What the hell? Yeah, you can't move the mouse when you're... Uh, shift clicking or control clicking in this case or it doesn't go um all right <clears throat> excuse me let's uh make one of these now while i'm thinking about it i should have already done that but i've been busy doing stuff put that there this can be destroyed uh, we're gonna grab the solar panel and we have the drill with us okay let's go so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to this Back out here, entrance of the cave. 
And we're going to put the solar panel down uh, right about here should be good, I'm thinking. Uh, it says no power. Is that because I don't have it out far enough? Well, maybe, I don't know, maybe it it it's not supposed to. Not sure. Okay, now, if we come down through here, there is this, um, where is it at? There's some blockage down here. Yeah, right there. All these dumb animals come through. So what we have to do is take the drill, um, G, and attach it there. Okay? And then we have to run power uh, down here to get it to work. Oh, for goodness sakes. Go down. Okay. So let's uh, harvest all these guys. And we have some more iron down here, too, which is great. Uh, but anyway, what we do is we attach wire to this, and we basically just start running the cable through the cave here uh, until we get it to the drill. Okay, and as soon as you power it up, this happens. <laughs> so run away! Come on! Get up the freaking hill, man! There we go. Okay, so... I mean, we could probably just deal with these assholes with the bow. I think. Let's uh, let's wait for that poison to wear off. I do have. Well, actually, we should probably. If we're gonna fight them now, I actually wasn't planning on fighting them right now because I thought they popped up after the drill broke through. But I guess it's before then. So <laughs> took me a little bit by surprise. Uh, let's grab both of those things, and we actually should probably make a few more bone arrows if we're gonna attempt okay. this. Okay, so the drill's done. Nice work. I don't think we can get to it until we kill those dudes. Or we probably can, but they're still going to be there. So um, let's make, like, say, another 20 of these. And I'm going to put the poison tonic in case we get really badly poisoned there. Plus we have the fish there that we can heal with. So here, oh, let's pick that up and put it in here so we can make more poison tonic. All right. Let's go kill the worms. Are they going to pop up? Oh. Oh, yeah. Man, it is really hard to see in here. Okay, the poison's gonna wear off pretty quickly, so let's um have a couple pieces of fish though, just to boost our health back up. Oh, you missed me, bastard. There's another one back here? Oh, hey, might as well just knife you assholes.
Okay. So I think that takes care of the first batch of them. We pick up our drill and then we just keep going through the cave. You can see that it's now kind of getting more sandy and there's a big old sandstorm going on over here. But I think before we proceed beyond this, um, I want to I want to at least make a shotgun. And it shouldn't take me that long to make a shotgun. Um, we don't technically need to. I mean, I could handle this, but let's just do it anyway because it'll be fun. Uh, but anyway, all right, you guys. I think I'm gonna let you go here, and um, we will. Well. No, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the camera here. I'm not going to end the episode because I don't think I have, you know, we're basically going to have to just do that, I think, two more times, and that's it, and then we're done. Uh, so I'm going to work up to the shotgun, and then I'll bring you guys back, and we'll we'll finish it out, and then end the episode. This might be a little bit longer episode, depending upon how I edit it, but, uh, yeah, I, it just, I, we just won't have enough content to do a part two of this. All right. So I will see you guys uh, when I'm ready to finish this out. All right. Welcome back, everybody. We are ready to finish our quest here. So I have uh, made the shotgun. Grind for that wasn't too bad. I mean, it, it took a little little bit of doing, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, we got 33 rounds plus the eight rounds in the, the weapon itself. So I think we're ready to finish this. Um, we actually need to break through one more wall, too. Uh, but there are... Um, last time I came down here, there were some cougars and hyenas and stuff waiting for us on the other side of the wall. So, yeah. That's um, before we run our wire. Oh, they must have buggered off. Okay. Uh, so let's put the drill up here. And then... We'll finish running our... Cabling. Can we get to the drill? Oh. Did we actually not connect to the drill? Okay, hold on a sec. That should... Oh, you know what I think the problem might be, actually? I think it might be that we are not that there's no sun out yet. Yeah, it's definitely connected. <clears throat> it's probably no sun for the solar panels. Let's go take a quick look at that. Yeah, that's what it is. This isn't getting any sun yet. All right, well, I guess we'll have to wait until the sun comes out. There's that bear over there. My uh, MXC knife is just about done for, but it's gotten us through this whole freaking uh, uh, prospect. So I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, we could try and kill this bear while we're waiting, I guess. Where did he go? He was just right over there. Something just spotted us. There's a pig. Alright, come on, bear. It's actually kind of <coughs> dangerous because, oh, there he is right there. Shit. Um, a lot of times the wolves will gang up. Wolves and the hogs and all that will gang up. Okay, he gave us a uh, deep wound, so let's fix that. I guess we caught pneumonia in the cave, too, so we'll fix that as well. All right. Can our knife 
do one more skin here. Yep. We better use uh, this to break up the bones, though. Get out of here. Did not invite you to my party. But since you're here, <laughs> you might as well provide some more bones so we can make more epoxy. Does this work faster? Oh, yeah. That does work a lot faster than the axe. All right. Well, as soon as that sun reaches our, our thing, we should be good to go. Let's uh, do this. Do I have any more gunpowder in here? Oh, I do. Okay. Let's make uh, some more shotgun shots. Okay. There it goes. Looks like that sucker's ready to go. That sucker's ready to go. <clears throat> okay. We should be good. So, of course, we're going to have to fight off the worms once we get down there. And possibly those desert critters, if they... Came through <clears throat> now a light sandstorm, so now we can't see anything. Damn it! All right, get ready for worms. I heard another one. And there's a cougar right there, just Let's waiting for us. For real. Okay. Let's get the drill back. Not, not that we need to. Are there any more bugaboos in here? Oh, uh, yeah. Right there. Might as well kill him. We went to all this effort to get the shotgun. <laughs> They didn't need to do that. I, I know that too, and I knew that when I started it. But as I've said many times to you guys, I'm I'm taking time to smell the roses in this game. So was it overkill? Absolutely. Did I have fun doing it? Absolutely. That's all that matters. Okay, so um, we come through here, and we. Oh my goodness, that scared the bejeebus out of me. Maybe it was a good idea. <laughs> We made the shotgun. Um, yeah, so we just come through here. We got a high level hyena. And then we are now in the desert, ladies and gentlemen. You're opening up Icarus for them. And everyone else. Yeah, the future's coming. Where the it's all going. Future's coming. Say. I guess that's up to you. Oh, so I control the future, huh? Oh, shit. All right, well, this is a really crappy time for us to get into the desert for the very first time since we can't see anything but sand, but hey, there you go. All right, you guys, I am going to head back to the capsule. I'll meet you when we, uh, when we get back there, and we'll wrap things up and then decide what our next move is. So I'll see you at the pod. All right, here we are. Let's get the heck out of here. I got all my stuff, right? I got that. I got that. I got my knife and my pick. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Glacier Scanner, Nice Shot 2, Bear Killer, Wayfarer, Silent But Deadly, Frozen Traveler. Look at all of this stuff, man. Awesome. <clears throat> okay, so let's take a look at our our money. Actually, no. I think we need to end this episode. <laughs> I, have a feeling, I haven't edited it yet, but I think this episode is going to be really long. And I don't want to cut it, cut it up. So, guys, I'm going uh, to leave you here. 
and then we'll start the next episode. We'll look at the shop, figure out what our next mission is going to be, and go from there. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.